after some blocking oscillator experiments based on lid motor's penny circuit which you can find on his channel um, I found out more about these uh, axial inductors which are the green things that look like resistors but they're not resistors and I found out that uh, blocking oscillators work quite well with those and then I found out something which was rather good so if you recognize that in silver usually with extras on the back then you may recognize what that is that is a uh, flux capacitor axial inductor blocking oscillator I guess for the short version and uh, what I found out was that the axial inductors will work separated like that but they will work in a trio as well and they give a steady output further steadying the output is a 120p I don't know if you can see it a 120p there we are very small ceramic capacitor between the base and the positive rail which also smooths things out a bit so there's no traditional coils on this just the tri axial inductor uh, flux capacitor looking arrangement so if I put a uh, here's a 1.5 volt battery and we'll plug in wait a second there we are and you can see that the light is really quite bright indeed and uh, I've got a 200k pot there on the left hand side and that uh, allows for different configurations, different changes, different types of batteries um, the sound, I guess, here we are, radio of course it's all one complete tone like that so what I'll do is, I'll disconnect let me see now, Let's wait one second and if I plug in the 1.5 volt solar cell. There we are now. Get a flashlight, and you can see that it runs quite well. I get the flashlight in the right place. There we are. It's actually uh, flashing very, very quickly. It looks like it's flashing slow on here. Uh, let's see now. You can see it better like that. It's almost continuously on, and that's just from well little solar cell there with no solar um, let's see if I can get the radio in the picture okay there we are you can tell it's running quite happily there So there we are, and this is the prototype really of something I want to work on, which would be a lot smaller version. And um, there we are, the flux capacitor arrangement. Okay, thanks for watching. Here's the circuit diagram if anybody wants to build one of these. Um, I'll pan it across. Hopefully you can see it, and I'll review this and uh, make sure it's okay. The two, the top left and top right axial inductors are 47 microhenries, and the one that leads down to the circuit board is 100 microhenries. The transistor is a KN2222A. Um, the pot, variable pot, is 200K with a 330K resistor. Then there's the 104, it's usually marked on the orange ceramic capacitors, 0.1 UF, and the 120P is marked there, and 100 UF capacitor on the power inputs. And uh, I'm Slider2732, today is the 10th of October 2011.